What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Fission Dimension Eagle McMahon Signature Series disc. This, boy, this bad boy is coming in at 165 grams. Picked it up at Flight Factory, you guys know. If you guys haven't already swung over to Flight Factory and grabbed your Fission Dimension, make sure you head over there to pick it up. Guys, we're coming in so close to 1,000 subscribers. We're about 10 away right now. So if you haven't gotten in my giveaway yet, Make sure you check the link down in the description. I'll have a link to my video where you can get entered. Make sure you get entered before 1,000. So anyways, guys, we've got this Fission Dimension out here. The numbers on this bad boy are 14.5503. So super beefcake. We've got my buddy Rodney out here. He's going to help me throw this thing today because honestly, I got no business throwing this thing. Neither one of us probably do. He's got a better chance at making this thing fly well than I do. So brought him out here to help me out today. We're going to give it some throws. All right, I'm gonna give it a toss out there and then we'll let Rodney throw it. I'm just gonna try to throw it flat, but you guys know how that goes. And I'm about to walk into a crab spider here. It's not flat. That was low. Low and slow. Low and slow. We're gonna let Rodney throw it. All right, Rodney rips. See what he does. Wow. Little it's really not up. as stable as I uh, expected it to be. Seemed to actually hold straight for longer than I thought it would. Being a 0-3, I kind of thought it would be a little more stable. Um, and being a, almost a 15 speed, you know. We've got a little headwind coming this way now. So, uh, see what we can do. I'm going to try to throw mine a little better this time instead of throwing it right to the ground. That wasn't too bad. Actually kind of flipped up a little bit, which is very surprising. Okay, pretty surprised by that result there. Um, actually kind of flipped up a little bit for me, which is very shocking. I thought this was going to be a very, very overstable disc. Now it is 165 grams fission plastic, but like I've thrown a relativity before in neutron plastic, which is a 14.5 with a negative three turn. And even that disc, seems more overstable than this um very interesting we're gonna see if rodney can heiser flip this thing all right let's see if we can get this thing to flip up oh wow and turn flipped up turned a little bit i think the tree might have been in the way but that went a mile <laughs> let's measure we'll measure that one too see how far it went okay we're over here in the shade hopefully we don't ding that pole it'd be pretty funny if we did though right I'm gonna try to throw it on Anheuser, see how it fights out. Dude, that thing is sick. Not gonna lie, I really like this disc. Now I got baby hands, so the 14 and a half speed is a little thick for me, but I do like the way it flies. Anheuser. There we go. See if it'll fight out. Not at all. That's Springs very surprising. Over. I feel like even this relativity would have fought out of that. We went and got the relativity just to uh, just to try it out. I feel like this relativity is a beefcake compared to that. I'm gonna try to throw it the same way he did. I mean, oh, yeah. like, no turn at all. It instantly started to fade out. I don't know, guys. Fission plastic is very uh, makes the disc pretty flippy. Now I've never thrown a dimension in the fission plastic or in the uh, neutron plastic before, so can't tell you how it compares to that. But compared to this neutron uh, relativity, it's definitely definitely seems to be pretty understable in uh, in this plastic. Could be the weight as well, but I don't know. I feel like 10 grams usually. Like I've thrown lightweight destroyers and stuff, and there's still plenty uh, plenty overstable. So. I don't think the weight has too much to do it. I think it's definitely more this fission plastic. Definitely not flying like a 0-3. Probably more like a, I don't know, what do you say, like a negative 2-2 two, two or something? Yeah, maybe It's definitely even a got some one, turn two. in it. Um, and being a 14 and a half speed, I didn't expect to get any turn out of this disc. We're going to try it out on some forehand real quick, and then we'll end it out there. Kind of excited to try this thing on forehand. I think I'll be able to get a little bit of turn, a little fade. Should be a nice flight. And then we'll throw the relativity just to see. A little better. It's kind of nose up. 
but didn't get any turn on that, surprising. Thought it would turn a little bit on my forehand. Gonna compare that to the relativity. Probably not gonna throw it exactly the same, but we'll see. Actually, that was pretty similar. They got a pretty similar flight. Definitely don't have a 14 and a half arm speed, you know, that type deal for my forehand. So we're gonna let Rodney rip them too. Here we go, here we go. Dang, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was a little waka 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 waka. A little waka 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 waka. Yeah. All right. You're Fission. watching Rodney. <laughs> You're watching Rodney Rips throw the Fission Dimension 950 feet. Available at Fly Factory Discs. Oh my gosh. The 400 foot turnover. No Why worries. was it so flippy? God. Oh my gosh. You're watching Wadney Whips, Fission Dimension. 500 feet. Let's go. Available at Fly Factory Discs. Oh my goodness. Dude, go in that basket over there. Could you imagine? That'd be <laughs> sick. <laughs> if that branch wasn't there, it was possible. That would have oh been sick. Oh my gosh.